Hi everyone, Megan here from Beguiled by Books. And today I'm going to share with you the five books from Book Talk that were super hyped that I just couldn't get into. This video does contain spoilers for some of these books. So if you're not into spoilers, go ahead and end this now. No hard feelings. Let's get started. All right, so Book Talk definitely has had some influence over us in the reader community over the last few years. Uh, lots of books have been hyped. Some are worth it. I'm going to talk about those in a different video. These are the five books that I just couldn't get into. So again, there are going to be spoilers. Just wanted to let you know one last time. But the first book that I read from Book Talk that was really, really hyped that I couldn't get into was It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I'm just not a Colleen Hoover fan. I hated every single character. I just hated them. They were not relatable. You cannot tell me that there is a 22-year-old who has a successful, profitable floral business in downtown Boston or wherever the hell it was taking place. I'm sorry, I don't buy it. Not at 22 years old. Um, yeah, it ends with us. I, I just, the characters were moronic and I found them to be very unrelatable. I thought it was a thrown together storyline. It hit the beats as any, you know, constructed storyline is going to hit the beats. And that was about it. Overhyped, not worth it. My opinion, don't waste your time. That may be controversial. I know there are a lot of fans out there, um, but it's just not for me. The next book from Book Talk that has been super well praised, people seem to really love it, it was not for me, is The Silent Patient. I I didn't get it. Um, not that I didn't get it. I understood the concept, of course. I guessed it really early. So it just made the rest of the book fall flat for me. It didn't have the tension. It didn't have the thrill. It seemed like the most logical option, the way the uh, the way the story unraveled. So I, I guessed it super early and then I was right. And that's not fun for a thriller. So I just thought it was super overhyped. It was very, to me, it was very formulaic. Um, saw right through to the end, but that's also probably why I don't read mysteries and thrillers. Whatever. The next book that has been really, really hyped on book talk and booktube is The Song of Achilles. I really hated this book. I loved Circe. So let's be really clear. It has nothing to do with the author. I thought Circe was truly a work of art. I loved it. It was really well done, very compelling. Um, the Song of Achilles just, nothing happened. If you're not familiar with Greek mythology, then you'll be surprised, but nothing happened. I read the whole book and nothing happened. I hated the narrator. I hated how the Song of Achilles ended. It felt very, um, oh crap, what do I do? Let me just have this happen at the end. I'm trying to not spoil it too much, but oh my gosh, it was just, I hated it. It's so, it's not beautiful. It's not romantic. It's not heart-wrenching. No, goodbye. It's just not good. Sorry, it's not. The next book that Book Talk really hyped and I just, I have really strong feelings about it is The Perfect Marriage by Geneva Rose. Um, friend of mine recommended it. I despised this book. And the reason I hate this book is actually very technical and possibly pedantic. So it is what it is. Uh, it was written in two points of view, which normally I really like multiple points of view, but one point of view was third person and another point of view was first person. And the, again, big spoiler for this book, the murderer's point of view was in first person. So you're supposed to be understanding their thoughts and their feelings and the, um, the processing behind their action. And then it turns out at the end that this person was the one who committed the crime in question. So it just doesn't work for me on a technical level because essentially the, the character is lying to herself and has just a whole separate chain of thoughts that isn't represented in the book. And just technically it didn't, it, I couldn't get past that. I just, I couldn't get past that. Also, it was super obvious. 
again, this is why I don't read mysteries and thrillers. I, I tend to guess them. Uh, it was blatantly obvious from the second or third chapter who did what. Not surprising. Perfect marriage, not it. So tell me what books you think are overhyped. I really want to know. Um, any? Do you agree with my comments? Do you disagree? Uh, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you like this video, give me a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.